feet. So let's get into this tea. We about to get into Messy Monday. Y'all already know how that goes. So let's get in. Girl, it is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P., you can't sit with me. Come on, girls, let's get it. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are a POP and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? It's almost October. Jesus. I ain't seen y'all in two weeks. So shout out to y'all for making it with two weeks because bitch, a bitch been busy, stuff been going on. It was a labor day and I missed y'all so much. But uh, a bitch gotta do what a bitch gotta do. So we ain't gonna keep this shit too sweet and nice because this is messy Monday and we get messy. So I wanna give a shout out to my friend and that is Whoa. Whoa is Precious. Hey bitch. Whoa is Precious. Thank you so much for having my post notifications on. That means so much to me. You were the first to comment on my Twitter page. That lets me know baby that you are active and ready for me to say what I got to say. So I am taking the time out to show you my appreciation for you appreciating me. And I'm gonna fuck with you to the wheels fall off, friend. All right? Hey, bitch. All right. Now we got it out of the way. Going to grab your cups, because it's time to turn up. Let's get to y'all favorite part, and that is the shit. The sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying in some shit. First of the sugar honey iced tea, we, we have Funny Mike and Jalea. Now, baby, this right here to me is pure comedy, because... <laughs> Because these two are funny. They will fall out and get right back together. So, I don't know what happened, but it happened. Funny Mike was at the strip club. <laughs> Why he at the strip club while his baby mama at home pregnant? I don't know, but they don't know how business. To each they own, that's their home. He was out at the strip club um, minding his business, and he had to, you know, parlay with somebody. And a fan caught him, caught him out. And this is what Funny Mike had to say. The clip strip club getting pictures took of me by... Secret Kim Possible Special Agent Oso mother sent by Jalil. I don't give a fuck. I'm a grown man. Oh yeah, I, I was full of that. Yeah, I said something to somebody, but it wasn't nothing more than said something to somebody. So whoever the fuck sent it, fuck you. You ain't did nothing but free the real anyway. Hey, I stand on anything I did and done. He'll be right back. With, I'm sure he's right with her after he said this shit. Yeah, I'm in a club, strip club. It's Every well, say yes, I did it. I done it. What the fuck I'm supposed to do? Talk to my niggas in a strip club? Go out of here, man. Now everybody know I love me some funny like, but I'm gonna call a say to say when you wrong, you wrong. Now he's saying he a grown ass man. A grown ass man would have been home. Cause why is you out in a strip club at that? You can stop me cause I'm Kim Pop. Uh -uh. If the tables were turned, let's say she go to a Chippendale. And you see niggas in her face, how you gonna react? It's just people always wanna play victim when it's them getting caught in the shit they was doing. But let her be off of champagne, a little mimosa, a little daiquiri, a margarita. And niggas in her face, you gonna be like, you a mama. Why you acting like a hoe? This is that. That's just what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm not saying they wrong. I don't know how they move in their house. I don't know their rules. And then on top of that, from my understanding, off social media, she is a good female. She has been riding with you through so much shit that you don't put her through via social media that we've seen. And she stuck beside you no matter what. So like, to me, it's just like, why even put yourself in that position to make her upset? You know, I, I don't know. I'm just saying, cause sometimes, but you know, sometimes men do that when they know they can continue to do that and you gonna forgive them. I don't know, but my kids, <laughs> but my kids go so far. But let me hush and mind my business, cause this is the cycle. They get mad, break up, she get pregnant. Mad, break up, she get pregnant. Facts. So I mean, Facts. Oh my god. Girl, it's my time for that ring. I know marriage ain't for everybody, 
But shit, y'all done did everything else. Y'all might as well go on the side at night. You hear me? So then Jalea had the nerve to get on the social media and ask the people a question. She said, if you get your nigga cheating, you can go get back or you leaving. Somebody, <laughs> somebody turned around and said, well, girl, we should be asking, we should be asking you that question. <laughs> I'm like, right, this, this like the auntie. <laughs> Wait, what did Jalea say? Somebody turn around and say, "Well, girl, we should be asking, we should be asking you that question." Definitely getting my get back for sure. Like, That's a patron on again. Right? Y'all already know who it is. This like the auntie. <laughs> this like happened so you already About know that answer, Miss Jaleesa. Why are you yes, asking that? Yes, I want it. Please send it. I'm yeah. like, bitch, at this point. And I actually just found a live, and I hope I didn't lose it. I found a live of blue blue face daddy. His daddy was at his house. He was talking to Krishan. Go sit in the bathroom and cry and come back out when you're ready because you going to go back anyway. Drive down the block. Go see your mama. Go to the grocery store and shop or something. Because girl, girl, girl. You going to get your get back. Get back where bitch you ain't never got back. Girl, you can't even walk back. Can you even roll the eyes in the back of your head? Anything get away with back, bitch. You ain't getting nothing back, bitch. Not time, not <laughs> nothing. I love you, Jaleel McGrum. Go take a bubble bath and come. too hype. I swear, so I'm so hard. over this situation. Call him our friend. Y'all, when they keep going back to these niggas and keep doing the same thing, I be over the situation. Am I the only one? Well, if it ain't about me. Let's keep Except Krishan. Next for Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Jada Waiter. Now, Jada Waiter took to her YouTube and she let the people know about her life updates, relationship issues, and things that was going on. And this is what she had to say. So many things have been thought about me over this, this time, but really, I just was being dumb. Being fucking stupid, okay? Yeah, I was just being a little slow. I had to we got to react to this too. Come back to my senses, shake that shit, and now I'm back. I'm back, I'm back handling my business. I'm back to my regular life, you know? I That's Cap, she'll be back with little baby tomorrow too. I tend to like get in relationships or situations and like forget about me and don't like keep up with the things I normally keep up with in my day-to-day -day life. So when I'm with a person, I kind of just get so <laughs> caught up into that person that I literally forget about myself. So to translate all that, basically what my good sister said was that nigga tried me again, so I'm back in my bag and on my shit. Period. <laughs> but <laughs> no, I will vouch and I will agree with her. Oh Women shit. TwitchCon is in Las Vegas, October 20th through October 22nd. Bitch, we going. <laughs> she don't know that yet, but she finna mind out. Do women tend to focus on their man and forget about themselves when they get in relationships? That's why when they break up, women can accomplish so many things so fast in a matter of time because now they're back focused on them. Women are strong ass people when they really got their mind on the right shit. But when a man come around, I don't know why. It's just like they groomed women to think like cater to my man, do for my man, respect my man, do this. Like hey, what you yeah, are, want. but if they're hey, doing yeah. that for you too. I don't Who know, child. Tickets? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I love people who give advice, but don't take it. <laughs> Jada. <laughs> I just like that's me too, girl. I give the best. Wait, party pass add-on sold out. What that mean? Advice and won't even take my own advice. I'll be back with that nigga tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, girl. But hopefully you really do your thing time and you handle your business. But word on the curb is people were saying Glow had posted some post or whatever the case that be and people were thinking it was um baby in it and they think this is why all this is, you know, doing what it's doing. But girl, I don't know. And then they say Slim Davis just had her child and the child got uh, dimples like all the little baby's children. Because then Slim Davis said she was pregnant by him. Wait, wait. When they say party pass, what is it? Party? Party pass add on. Does that mean like so I can bring somebody? Does that? I'm confused. I mean, everybody thought it was... Wow. 
Well, then Jada also went and did a mukbang with one of her friends, and uh, she addressed the pregnancy rumors, and this is what she had to say. Everybody thought she was pregnant at one point. I think because I just had took a break off the internet, like I really went missing for like. A Wait, so that is what that means? I oh, mean, so you telling me I can't bring TT because she not she is on Twitch though. <laughs> Good little mini, and like, you know how like <clears throat> you just get in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And you just like, well, I don't know if you know, but girls, we get in relationships and we just like forget about ourselves. Party we events. totally no, like just no party fall off the face of the earth because yeah. we're so consumed in a relationship. Yeah. And right. that is where I was at in my life. And I got super duper consumed to the point now it's like I'm back free. I'm back outside. Wait, you was in a relationship? Like recently? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Now Jada, <laughs> you my girl, but you didn't even answer the pregnancy question. <laughs> you just, you just changed the whole topic back to a relationship. It's definitely giving us little baby baby too, allegedly. He asked you, <laughs> was you pregnant? That's not a link, friend, because it's sold out anyway. But I, I'll, I'll that see. That was a yes or a no question. <laughs> But, you gonna let that ride. But what I feel, you know I'm doing Mr. Money, I gotta keep it messy, friend. What I feel was, you gave your relationship another shot, you got pregnant, he fucked up 500 out of the back focusing on me. So girl, when that phone ring, don't pick that motherfucker up. Okay, then that motherfucker, I mean, ooh, girl. I know that's hard. <laughs> but, <laughs> mm. Oh my Jesus. Do what's best for you. Child, tell her to just leave it alone. All right, girl. If it ain't about me, girl, this Kiki girl. Next guest. Next to Mr. Honey Ice Tea, we have Asian Doll and EKT40. Now, while Asian Doll was previewing her new song, she decided to also do a little pop out session with this man and said that this was her man, her man, her man, her man, her man. We going so crazy, he been. Uh-uh. Why does he put music on here? That's crazy. I call my nigga twin. He don't want to. Not the camera. My man. And she said, my for sure. show. And then when I saw that, I was like, well, damn. I, I could have sworn he was still fucking with Cold Killer. Because ain't that her baby daddy? <sighs> oh, my God. I ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with it. Because I was like, child, if you from Columbus, then you know. What was it? Can I ask y'all a question? Did she say she was something? I mean, I don't mean, I don't mean, I don't mean saying she's fucking because she fucked with somebody, but I mean, I don't mean saying like, anyway, well, after she fucked that, he come back and say, man, that's my cousin. Girl gotta have a thing for a I don't know what's going on either. He talking about uh what you call it now. <laughs> Y'all remember we we getting into celebrities, so we gotta watch it all. <laughs> no fucking way. Every time watch it all. she say a man liked her or it's her man, they come back and embarrass her. Oh, that's really ugly. <laughs> Y'all, word on the curve. The folks is saying she got more bodies than <laughs> And to be honest, I be feeling bad for her sometimes because these little bottom feeder rappers just be leeching on her. And baby, ain't nobody gonna love her like Lauren did. That's what she looking for. And girl, she just need to just worry about her, make her music, stop getting in drama with these women, stop fucking with these niggas, and just make her music. Because she's actually really fucking good. But she's just so distracted. And then on top of that, y'all, it was a joke. So he probably meaning like, I am fucking with her, but that's my cousin. Cause he supposedly had that other girl. I don't know if anybody caught that. So, you know, I don't know, bro. It is what it is. Wait, Nick, I was a big back. Now I'm a half back working on the medium back. Now that's it. That's me. But in that's three, two, right one, we'll be seeing I miss fun in a minute. So, hey. If it ain't about me, hey, she just going to get you some coochie next day. <laughs> next for Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Brooklyn Frost. Now, child, Jay tried to warn us that this woman could not spell. So, Brookie, baby, 
I have several seats, sweetheart, because this right here was so embarrassing. She made this be I think your favorite. I think you're the fave liar. Dog, she just want him back. Negative, just funny content. Y'all think he'll will notice it's me. Just a TikTok. Video. And she going disguised to go get favorite liar back. He said, going disguised to go get favorite liar back. Y'all yeah. think hell will. <laughs> yeah, she fucked all that up, y'all. Y'all think appreciate y'all from hell for coming will from YouTube. Notice it's me, just a TikTok. Don't do too much. Y'all think hell will notice it's just first she left out the apostrophe in the S. It's he will, because you already put the will, so you shouldn't even put he'll notice. <sighs> Jay was right. <laughs> so at this point, she she just frustrate me. She frustrate me, she crazy. She crazy, and what she about this funny. She taking everything she did as a joke. He, she leave him alone, and he better not go back. If he Facts. go back, he's stupid. Jay, you up right now. Facts. You up, you doing good, you making your videos, your music, you doing Facts. your thing. If you go back and let this girl sink you back into this dark hole with a cloud of thunder over you, <laughs> then bitch, you stupid. And then it's okay. gonna be you that's the problem. You took her back already, you take her back up here, we gonna be pissed off, <laughs> Brooklyn. Okay. Go. Where the man that was that you was all booed up with? Where, where he at? Where he go that you with. was just on the plane and having a and having sex with saying she wasn't having no sex. Lying. Vacation with where he at? Go back and get the liar. Girl, you were the liar. You wanna get yourself? Let me get off this topic. <laughs> 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 right. If it ain't about me, Jay. Don't go back to Brookie. Next game. Next to the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Lotto versus Benzino and Corey Now, I don't know what undercover beef is going on here because as we already know, Lotto had came out with a song once before that had Corey in it and Corey didn't like it. So why Lotto would come back a second time and do it with her father, I don't know. Maybe she did it because she knew the controversy it brought when she said Corey and she knew it would spark some attention again to get this new song to where that one went. Give me that net like pissy. Uh -uh. <laughs> to promote her song, and I'm like, oh, sis. <laughs> now you know she gonna come out and say something to you. And so that's when Corey Ray came out and she said, can someone please find me a pic of Karen? So then Corey Ray showed um, some text messages between her and her father. He said she adores you, they all do. Just stay focused. I got the most famous neck on earth. And which is true. <laughs> now I'm just like, what next, sir? <laughs> and then be careful how you say that because remember they said you was hanging out with what's the name and I don't know if you got the famous Nick on Earth or the famous Nick on Earth. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, I'm gonna leave it alone, child. So then she also says love always wins. I'm just know. like, See, boy, shush. Hard. Bitch, you don't even like your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody talk about your daddy, but you got it. I know how that roll. I know that. I know that street code. But anyway, uh, not street. Max. <laughs> it was only me and Zook in there. Yo, fancy underscore underscore. That's Zook. Let me let me tell. Let me let me break it down for the people that's not fast. She Man, always eating like some Disney, shit. You know? That mean if I if I say give me that, that mean it's took right. That mean it's gone, right? I seen some people talking about, but he don't got no neck. That don't make sense. <laughs> Y'all, she looks Keep like up. a total different person when she ain't got on no makeup. No cap. Up. Keep up. Go ahead. I mean, they all do, but she really don't look like herself. You were coming. Well, that looks like herself. She don't look like the one that she be putting makeup on. Well, you were coming for Lotto after she told you that that first thing she said about you wasn't anything. So now I guess she feel like, okay, I'm going to show her this time. That's the only thing I could think about. You know what I'm saying? But it's just fucked up. It took somebody to talk about your daddy for y'all to get along. She looks like her ass her makeup. How old is she? 
episode off of uh, Family Guy with Meg. That makes sense. And Peter, he had to fuck with her to get her to be a good basketball player. <laughs> anyway, what happened? If Koi don't understand right now that Lotto is just, just trolling, and I don't know what to tell her, girl. Just keep whining. If it ain't about me, let's be keeping this game. Next for the sugar on the ice. 24 We oh, have wide as hell follows. Now, baby, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck was happening, but whatever was happening was happening, okay? Yeah, okay, I'll deal with that accordingly, but your client, I noticed, has been doing the same behavior, and I believe Judge Adams inquired into it as well. So I don't believe that he may be doing just for the purposes of just drawing attention to himself, but... Um, if I, of course, sir, as you are well aware, I'm duty bound to consider whatever it is you want to tell me. I don't know if this fool was trying to get attention so he could go like to um, get some help or something or like get to the doctor, break out of the doctor. I don't know what was going on. But he, he stuck to it. <laughs> was the person that him. Friend, I don't know if you trying to play insanity or what, the baby, it ain't working. You probably ain't. trying to go to the crazy house and he ain't got to spend time in prison. I Dang. get it. This just remind me how my man act when I went through his phone. Nigga, you know the fuck going on. <laughs> don't play stupid now, nigga. This is how some of y'all mamas have y'all acting for is this not chick? <laughs> <I tell you. laughs> this is how some of y'all girls act when y'all get that little chick down there and they be like, so are you having sex? <laughs> Okay. And your mama sit right up. This is when the girls say, don't start acting crazy when I give you this pussy, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I just want to hear what him and the lawyer was talking about when he decided to make this man act like this. <laughs> because this is crazy. But I, I, I can't lie. He, he, he gave it his all. <laughs> That's all that matters. At this point now, you got to keep up this whole charade for the, for the entire trial. And even after, did you? You cuckoo for cocoa puss forever. <laughs> My God. This man got to be crazy forever. All I can think about when I, when I saw that was that lady on that plane who said, I, I'm telling y'all that motherfucker back there is not real. <laughs> Anyway, well, I wish him well. If it ain't about me, he will still pronounce guilty. Next day. All right, you guys, that's all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of the ducket, we have Corey and Carmen. Now, they're not beefing with each other for once, finally, but they are in the spotlight because Corey's car had got caught on fire. Now, they're claiming they don't know. They're claiming they don't know who did it or why they did it, but Corey thinks that they did it because his energy was so pure. Maybe, allegedly. Okay, well, fire is out, guys. Everything is about kind of like, oh, wait, nah. Got my guys over here doing the investigation on everything. Really not too hard to figure out, though. You know what I'm saying? We got this guy on. I'm pretty sure y'all seen the video. We got this guy on full blown camera. You know? Sometimes you go do a crime, you got to be more smart about it. Yo, is that little Uzi in the back? Sorry, y'all. We're going to have to skip this. The fuck be going on, Zo? Jesus Christ. Now, after the person burnt up the car, um, people were going in the comments saying, like, how did y'all not notice y'all got cameras? Now, I know my camera. When anybody steps on my yard, whatever, move in the house, move outside... It notifies me, and I look. I'm like, what the fuck going on? Who is this? But I'm seeing in the comments that people were saying that the brother had to come and say, hey, y'all car is on fire. Now, if I'm wrong, y'all get the comments and let me know. But I'm thinking when I read the comments that Corey and Carmen was home, so y'all didn't know that the car was on fire? Niggas don't play. So that's why people out here allegedly think of that. With the copyright shit. I swear. Oh, was that they Corey music? Insurance claim, Corey said he didn't have no insurance on the car, so how could he get an insurance claim check? But I'm over thinking like, man, that's a hundred k thousand dollar car that you don't put the investment in, the hooked up, the did this. And you yeah, telling me that you didn't put no insurance on that car? <laughs> I don't know, Corey. I ain't gonna make. I ain't gonna. My car's got insurance. I don't give a fuck. Break in it, steal it, whatever. I'm covered now. 
I don't give a damn how much money I got. I'm going to take care of my babies. Now, maybe you got money just to waste and spend like that. I don't know. I know I'm wealthy. I ain't going to say rich. But, bitch, I ain't going to just have not no insurance on my car. And then who just walking in the... A lot of them really don't have insurance on their car. Y'all don't remember the conversation with Dub and DDG and them? And they was talking about how they didn't have insurance. Dub does not have insurance on his car. But you don't have to have insurance on your car in Los Angeles, apparently. At least that's what he said. The street don't say, I want to blow Corey car up because his energy so pure. I want to blow Corey car up because his energy so pure. Who going to say that? And then Corey on top of it, you are in these comments going at everybody. Man, you ain't in the comments this much. When you cheat on Carmen. <laughs> so that's why I believe in you. Something ain't right, Corey. I love you, my husband. Everybody know I'm a ride or die for my Corey, but when my Corey wrong, my Corey wrong. And Corey, you wrong. I think y'all blew that car up for these niggas, Corey. Because y'all been doing this reality television shit lately, you and Corey. And this is reality. And then here come Corey on cuckoo for Coco Puck ass. She come out and she said, Oh, this girl, you shut the fuck up. We know you gonna have Corey back regardless. He, she know you with your cousin, you still got his back. He fucked five hoes, you see it on the video, you still gonna say it's not him. Corey go damn bitch, whatever, and you gonna say whatever. Girl, shut the hell up. We ain't think I'm gonna leave you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is real life. How do you think Corey's gonna get hit? Girl, hush. Don't even know what the hell you're saying. Girl, I so goddamn much. We don't even know. We don't know where you're telling the truth. <laughs> Who's gonna let somebody? Why would we blow the house up when the family at home? That voice was funny as hell. <laughs> why would you take a man back who done fucked up with you 20,000 times? We don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope they didn't blow this car up for views. I, I, I don't want nobody to be after them like that because I like them. Why the hell would he blow that car up for views? That is the part I'm just not, it's not registering. It's not, y'all. Why would he blow the car, the car up for views? He didn't, and you don't have insurance on it, so he wasn't getting no money from an insurance claim. What would benefit him from... That don't make sense. Well, okay. And then in I front love. of his house is crazier. Corey. Because he's slow. You know what? We are never know. <laughs> if we see a police report, this man in handcuffs and all that, then we'll believe it. But hell, that people could stage so much shit. Kind of like, what's that nigga name? Who said that people shot his house up and... <laughs> Is the motherfucker still in jail? <laughs> if it ain't yeah. about me. Let's keep the next case. <laughs> next one, Doc F, we got No Blue versus his wife, I think Tamaria, if that's how you pronounce it, and the side chick. So, child, this is messy. Yeah, story time. Y'all like Oh, for those that's new, y'all can, um... Y'all can, uh, what you call it, Sub subscribe on Amazon Prime. Blue, that's same free. they say time heals. If you don't want no, um, ads. Don't go, Dad. Yeah, he slides in my DMs, and yeah, he tried to talk to me, and yeah, he wasted my mother time. And like I said, I don't call it exposing him because what the f*** did we do? You wasted my time. Story time. So a lot of y'all might have saw the video, and a lot of y'all might not have. But a video of my have. tongue went viral. Okay, cool. That video yeah. goes viral. After that, he slides in my DMs. About to show y'all him sliding in my DMs right here. All right, cool. Yeah, he all up in there, right there. Bam. So he slides in my DMs. We up there talking, yada yada yada. This, that, that, that. He told me that he was doing a, a soundtrack for Power in New York, and that he wanted me to come with him to New York. You know, just so we could vibe out and you know, I guess I like, hang out or whatever. So I'm like, the f yeah, like it's a whole celebrity. The f I'll be an idiot not the f to go. So. I um, was getting myself together. Me and him were still texting. Me and him were still talking. I ended up posting up an old video of myself. He tells me he wants my hair to look like that, so he goes and pays for my hair. He pays for my hair. There that goes right there. All right. Okay, yeah, he paid for the hair to get oh, done. Yeah, Bam, like there this. it is. Oh, he's texting me as he's texting my phone before I get there. Y'all know I'm very diverse with my style. This is where I'm trying to figure out what the f*** is you talking about. He texted me and told me. He said, yo, when you come out there, we're going to be on some drippy shit. So come on, your little tomboy swag. Now I'm going to keep it all the way 100. If I'm about to be a, with a celebrity, I was coming, nails done, lashes done, hair done, yeah. It wasn't going to be no But you told me to come down here on that tomboy and I'm about to drop that 
a screenshot too. Y'all, what do that say? Why would he want her to be on her tomboy shit? Put that drip on because we're going to the game. I like your tennis shoe swag. I got you. Glad you told me because I brought girly stuff in drip. No, I like your tomboy drip. That shit fresh. Yo, these niggas really be wanting studs out here, gang. Y'all oh, niggas is weird. <laughs> Yo, what do that say? He texts my phone. He tells me that um, he calls me an Uber to uh, the airport. Yo, I'm thinking I'm about to go to the, you know, Philadelphia International Airport. Yo, he had me on a fucking PJ. I'm in a PJ. Ain't never been on a PJ before. I'm in them all fucking like, ooh. About to drop that video too. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> Yes, hat. Dumb ass niggas just be oh, getting caught. I'm on the caught. PJ. Yo, why the fuck he don't say nothing to me? I'm talking, don't acknowledge me. Don't give me a hug. Don't say, yo, what's up? So I'm in my mind like, okay, maybe he just a little jet lag. Maybe he a little bit, you know, he probably a little tired. Well, it's cool, whatever. Caught, I'm just enjoying my little homie. experience. You know what I'm trying to say? On mm. the PJ. So I'm on the PJ. He ain't say nothing to me. We get off the private jet <laughs> uh -huh. and then we go into this little black truck. Uh -huh. That's when I'm introduced to about five or six I wouldn't even say introduce because he didn't introduce me. He didn't introduce nobody uh, to okay, me. So I'm just sitting there looking like, okay. um, okay. When I got on the PJ, like I said, he didn't talk to me. He didn't offer a, bitch a beverage. I'm thinking I'm about to be with a celebrity. I'm thinking I'm about to, if you got me on a private jet, I'm thinking it's about to be liquor, weed, hella music, this, that, that, that. Child, he didn't say shit to me. We get in this black car. It's me and five or six other. Why the f is this man playing himself the whole time? More of what I'm trying to say is, when you out with a girl, you should yeah, make sure that she's comfortable, especially if you're supposed to be this. So don't y'all know I tell this mother I'm hungry? Mind you, I was with him for about three or four hours at this point. So I'm like, hey, boo, I'm hungry. Don't y'all know he going to say to me, girl's always hungry. I can go two or three days without eating. Huh? So I end up having to go buy my own food. I walk to Chipotle after we get to the hotel. I ain't going to. Yo, y'all girls got to stop meeting these niggas on their terms. I would never trust, first of all, I wouldn't trust that it was coming from him anyway. That's number one for me. Even if it came from his account, I don't know that that's him. That's number one. Number two, I right, bet I'm on the PJ. Cool. But I got flight money to get back. I got bus money to get back. Okay. I already got me a flight and play just in case he want to play. All right. I done found out the hotel we at so I can make sure I can afford a room in the event I don't have a flight. Y'all think that's overzealous. I think I'm protecting myself. I got Uber money and I'm going to make sure if your bitch ass ain't getting me no food, Uber Eats is showing up. Am I wrong? Is that not crazy? Like you go out of town with a celebrity because he's a celebrity and you trust this nigga? Them niggas don't eat. They drink lean all day. Not all of them. Some. They do drugs all day. This this it. That's all they do, just drugs and shit. They don't be thinking about food, not the men. Until you do see them eating, but they with 17 other niggas. And guess what? They paying for all 17 of them niggas. But don't want to get you no damn food. Because they think women just want to eat. Like, they think women just want to get with them. To get food, y'all. Like, real shit. Like, nah, you ain't here because you fuck with me. You here because you just want to eat. Like, bitch, you asked me to come. But guess what? I'm going to make sure I got me a backup flight. I'm going to make sure I got me a bag. I'm going to make sure I could get that, uh, afford that hotel or afford a closer hotel. Because I got to know where the fuck I'm at. And I got to make sure the hotel you getting got food there. Because guess what? If you don't want to feed me, bitch, I can go down to the lobby. Y'all got me fucked up. I don't understand these women these days. The hotel was nice. So we get to the hotel, bam. Blue got me in a hotel with him. And then he got all his other people somewhere else. I go and I take a shower and shit like that. Because at this point, I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm hungry, I'm irritated. It's whatever. So then, this is another thing I'm going to tell y'all. Before I even met up with this motherfucker, and I'm going to drop the screenshot. Hello? Before I even met up with him, Hello. he texted my phone. I'm about to drop the screenshot. And he told me not to text. Don't be on my phone. Da, 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 this, that, that, that. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm no idiot. No offense, but I done been around big before. I already know if you really moving something, if you really doing something, you not supposed to have your phone. So, child, the phone was never even coming up in, in conversation at all. But okay. So, I'm about to drop that screenshot right there where you see that. Yeah. Remember? Y'all saw the screenshot? Hold on. Your phone. So, child, the phone was never even 
coming up in, in conversation at all. But okay. So I'm about to drop that screenshot right there where you see that. Be there by 140 and don't record anything. People can track my plane by the tail number, so I don't really be posting. I feel them on that shit. Remember, y'all saw the screenshot where it said don't be on your phone. Why everybody was at the dinner table like this? Including him. I'm talking. Nobody was talking. I'm the only girl at the table. It was very awkward. So me being me, I asked him. I asked him. I said, so blue. So what's the reason for you to have brought me out here? Because I saw in his phone that I was under Philly stylist. So in my mind, I ain't even going to hold y'all, y'all. It was a celebrity. I didn't give a fuck if I was out there yeah, to fuck him, to suck him, to fuck him be the right. stylist. All I knew was he is. He about to cut that check. He got that bread. It is what it is. So what is I he cutting a check for? That's another thing that they don't understand. What is he cutting a check for, sis? If you ain't sucking and fucking, he really ain't cutting no check. I don't understand these women. I asked him, because, like, you're not talking to me. You're not doing it. Like, what am I here for? So I said, so blue. What am I here for? This mother going to tell me, it got to be a reason why I had brought you out here. You think I'm just about to be some groupie that's about to follow you around while you do absolutely fucking nothing? I'm so confused. Yo, I swear for God, I done hung around a Philly for 24 hours, and I done got fed. I done got bought. I done went shopping. I done kill y'all after we get from dinner. We go to a basketball game. We at the next game. But y'all, here's the kicker to that. I get there. This mother talking about, yeah, don't sit next to me. Sit next to him because this, the camera might come on me and I don't want my girl um, to see you. Bitch, I have a whole girlfriend who know about you and know about me. I don't give a damn about your girlfriend. What is you talking about? Wait, I see the game, but I ain't seen Ain't him. offer me, hey, boo, you want to drink? Ain't offer me shit. Nothing. So I'm so bored. I said, you know the. Let me tell y'all the person I am in the corner. My fault. I'm the one like this. Boy, this shit is amazing. Where you get that from, Nick? Oh, at the motherfucking concession stand. Oh, I ain't even know you went. Oh, I know. I'm grown as fuck. I don't have to ask you to go to the motherfucking concession stand. But I'm back. What's up? The fuck? I'm. I'm gonna make sure I have food money. You don't have to offer me food money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. First of all, if I'm going somewhere, I ain't got no money. I ain't saying she ain't got no money. But if I go somewhere, I ain't got no money. I ain't going. Damn, boy, I'm not fucking going. Girl, I need a drink. I gets up. I goes to the concession stand. Okay, she I got money. A, I try. I think I got me about two or three drinks. Uh, okay. I come back. When I come back to the to the seat, he like, all right, it's time to go. I'm like, well, damn. Finally had a little bit of fun, and now you want to leave at halftime. We get back to the hotel. I get to rolling up my weed, y'all. Because at this point, I got to smoke. Oh, he no. like, oh, you, you really a time boy. Like, you just such a time boy. I start packing up my bags. <laughs> now, after she said all that, I'm looking at her like, now, blue. <laughs> blue. <laughs> blue. <laughs> Yo, I'm, not gonna say much, I'm not going to say much, but I'm saying a lot without saying a lot. So anyway, the wife ends up seeing it, and she goes on her story, and this is what she said. Y'all, so I was just, you know, I made a little post on Instagram. I barely checked my messages. She and, said, um, that's how she looks. Someone just told me to check my filter messages. So I look at my messages. Somebody was like, um, did you see that post about the girl uh, saying that blue flew her out? So I was like, what? Well, you know, I went to go see. I'm trying to look for it. I can't find it. Hold on, y'all. So, um, he for a second, but I'm on right the here. side of me. So I mentioned it to him, and he was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I was like, okay, well, I'm finna find it. So I hope she, nah, you know, I, I know hope it's just a joke. So he gets up, y'all. The boy laying in the bed, ass naked. We about to get ready to go to bed. He hops out the bed. <laughs> Ran and put drawers on, ran out the house to the guest house. So I'm like, what the f is wrong now with him? I got out the I bed and ran to the guest house snitching on himself. Niggas are crazy. I found the video. I don't even know what the f video nobody's talking about. So, yeah, so I'm like, Jeremy, where did you go? He was like, oh, I'm over here talking to Ted. I said, what you talking to Ted for? What, why are you acting so nervous? And why you talking to the boy, girl? He said, oh, I found the video. Like, he real deal just trying to act like the girl is lying on him. So I was like, well, send the video to me. Like, let me see. 
I want to see what, what, what everybody's talking about. So I'm looking at the video, y'all. The girl posted crazy. receipts. This bitch then ran out the door, ran out the house. So I'm watching the video. Like, as I'm watching it, I stop it. Every time she say something, and I know that she ain't lying, because he weird. Every time she say something, and I know she's telling the truth about it, I will pause it, and I'll say something to him. Because he's texting me back and forth doing the whole thing. When he ran outside, he's texting me the whole time. So, um, I go outside, and I'm like, big. So, I, I said to him, I said, Jeremy, this girl is not lying on you. This girl got video of your lame ass on the plane looking like a motherfucking big teeth milk dud Damn. with them ugly ass motherfucking braids in your head. Damn. This bitch is not lying on you at all. She's not lying on you. She got so many motherfucking receipts. He running all through the yard trying to... Y'all, not clowning her husband, girl. Her own husband. Jeremy, this girl is not lying on you. This girl got video of your lame ass on the plane looking like a mother and big teeth milk dud with them ugly ass mother and braids in your head this is uh, not lying big teeth milk dud with them ugly ass fucking braids in your head do you know she been waiting to say that for a very long time she could not wait to say that shit y'all i know you at all she's she not lying on you she got so many receipts uh, he running all through the yard trying to run from me like i'm uh, gonna chase him down i'm not gonna chase you what you gonna do you gonna sleep outside and I hope Boosie come get you. <laughs> and I hope Boosie come get your mother. He ain't got no car keys. He ain't got no house keys. He can't get in this mother. So he oh, he gonna be outside tonight unless one of you come get him. Now mind y'all, she beautiful. And people are saying, oh, she seemed too jolly and happy. She been wanting to leave. No, that's that laughing like, bitch, I know you fucking lying. This, this shit can't be real. Like, that's that type of laugh. That, that, that joy you hear her voice is like, Bitch, I know I ain't this fucking stupid. And so people were in the comments saying, oh, now his dick little, his teeth big, the plane this. Now mind you, I'ma just tell y'all something for real, for real. You will accept stuff. You will. That you would not accept when you really like somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's his wife now. She's probably with this man before he was even famous. So you ain't worried about the money, the dick shit. I'ma deal with the dick. I'ma deal with the fucked up teeth. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. Now he got his teeth fixed. You got money, you got a plane, now bitches in your face. It's kind of like, nigga, fuck you. I dealt with your fucked up teeth. I dealt with your small ass dick. I dealt with all that bullshit. And now because you got some money and you can do this, now you want to cheat on me? And I dealt with That's exactly like, what, what she was saying. Off. It's like, ah, oh, I dealt with all that bullshit and you want to cheat? I feel her. I feel her, because you know, like when you bring up somebody, you're like, how the fuck did I even be with this person this fucking long? But to me, if she you did all too. this, if you did all this, you got to leave now, sis. You can't come on the internet and do whatever, hoop or holler, and then you stay. Because if you do all this and stay, then bitch, yeah, bitch. <laughs> yeah. So then Blue comes out, and he says, you know, why he didn't do anything with the girl. As you heard the girl say, she's like, nothing happened. They didn't do nothing when he got around his friends. He didn't introduce her. Woo, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. He said the reason he didn't because Miss Mama, her vibe was off. Her shoes was too big. Whoa. Because as I'm trying to tell y'all, these folks. I'll let you be a tag along for a day, true. But you went back home in an Uber with hunger pains because you was loud and hygiene wasn't up to my standards. Had a little smell that engulfed the plane. Nails dirty, shoes two sizes too big with a little dust on them. So yeah, you was a link up that was turned into a sidekick that day because I was being respectful and ain't want to send you back and hurt your feelings. Ain't get no ick or no vibes though. Hope you enjoyed your stay though, little mama. Y'all ain't gonna lie, that was some disrespectful ass shit right there. That nigga said, <laughs> a little smell that engulfed the plane. That had to be her hell. And sent back with hunger pains. See, that's what I keep trying to tell y'all, bro. No, no motherfucker will ever be able to one up on me. To basically say, 
your little hungry ass got sent back. What? Girl, I'd be sitting there so full and high. If I, you know, smoke weed, so full and high, just enjoying this this quick little something. You know what I'm saying? And since I already went there. But I ain't gonna lie, she should have known that he instantly wasn't fucking with her as soon as she got on the plane. You know, she should have known. It's, it's something a nigga give you that'll let you know he fucking with you. And if he ain't, that was her time to get off that plane. But since she decided, fuck it, I'ma go, she got exactly what he was trying to give. But like I said, you ain't got to send me back on no in no Uber or no uh I wonder did she have to get her own flight? It's just that's just crazy. I don't know. She said that she got new clothes, her hair got done uh by somebody, you know. So I don't even know why she had a little linger going on. Most of me on Instagram using Probably pictures, putting up their best pictures, but then when you see them in person, it ain't what it's supposed to have game. So child, he said this thing was fucked up and had some stench. Now he said it wasn't the vagina, but see, she thought it was the vagina he was talking about. He just said it, her clothes might have been a little mildewy. It was some. Her she clothes might have been a little mildewy. Like it could have been her wig. Her wig could have been all you know, stuff in the wig. That. I don't know, her breath could have had that little mothball smell. I don't know. But he said she had a type of smell to her, and it was on the plane. It was embarrassing, and he was just real nasty. After the wife posts what she posts, that's when the side chick lady, she go and put this up. Y'all keep adding me talking about his baby mom is posting this, his baby mom is posting that. I don't give a I don't give a damn about her or Blue. I came on here to tell my story. It is what the hell it is. Girl, you keep your man. Trust me, I think he's gay anyway. Like, the hell? I ain't even see her shit, but I hope Yo, you ain't get smart. Because if you get smart, girl, we can do crazy. that. We can do that. I just hope the ain't getting smart. But like, yeah, girl, you can keep blue. Trust me. Nobody wants him, I'm pretty sure, but you. <laughs> Nobody probably wants Child, him. She you. don't want him either. And that's another thing that I hate. I hate when a be so in love with her that she swear up and down. Everybody want her. Girl, that yeah, is corny. Only reason why I was talking to the mother. So I thought you had some money. My rent fits you, honey. Card note, this and that. What you got for me? Okay. Nothing, friend. That was my story time. I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. He didn't it. have no, shit. Office. I ain't about to sit up here and keep talking about this. I have a real life. Now, girl, I, I'm all for you doing whatever you doing. But shut the fuck up. Okay. Because how you gonna get mad at her? So I'm like, I hope she ain't getting smart. I hope she ain't getting smart. What you trying to Bitch, fight you the white ball? fucking nigga had a girlfriend, baby mama white, and you still went and flew out with him or whatever. She can say what the fuck she wanted to say. She want to call you a dirty spank mouth, just the ass bitch. <laughs> she can say that because you knew. It's not like the world don't know that this man is in a relationship. That's what make me sick with these hoes because y'all want to get mad when the baby mama or the wife say something to you, but it's public that these men are in relationships. Shouldn't you be the bigger person to say, nah, you oh. got a bitch, you know what I'm saying? I can't fuck with that. But nah, you want to take your little dust ass and go lay with these men. Girl, shut the fuck up. I'm cracking the fuck up at Blue Response talking about I stink. Yo, that's, I guess that just must be something that he had to say because there's no receipts to that. You can't smell a receipt. You can't smell a receipt. Oh, yeah. Blue, shut the fuck up. You're mm. ugly as shit. You're corny as shit. Smell of receipt is crazy. Up. I want to know how the fuck you smell me when you ain't had no from me. When I wasn't even that the fuck she ain't remember. remember. Girl, she hot. He got her hot with that smell. Remember, your, your baby mom wasn't supposed to know. Remember, I wasn't supposed to be around you. So let me know, mother Stop lying, bitch. You're sorry. And also, to the baby mom, I want to let you know. Yeah, I heard your voice and everything. I was on, he was on the phone with you. He told you that he loved you and everything. And I was right there. He told me, don't say nothing. Because he was about to call his baby mom. As if I gave a As if I care. Blue. Blue. Me, you can get on live right now. Me, you can get on live right now. I'm about to go on Tasha K at 3 o'clock. Girl, not going to Tasha K. That damn Tasha K crazy. She told me not to even say nothing, but I ain't got the time. I'll be there at 3 o'clock. I stink, right? You can't show receipts for that. That's why you stink. Well, girl, to be honest, I believe you might have a little stink. You know, sometimes y'all may wash your clothes and forget they in the washing machine and you leave them in there overnight, whatever case it be, or, you know, then you Anytime go back. Anytime that happens, we rewash them right in the morning. And then you put them in the dryer and think the little sheet gonna make it smell good. But girl, that's mildew, or maybe it was just your hair. You don't know. I mean, yeah, receipts ain't got no smell, but you do.
do for what he said. <laughs> I don't know. He tried to lie to his wife so he could be lying to us too. At the end of the day, he want to make it seem like, but your girl, he didn't fuck you though. So I don't know. Then when you got around his friends, he wasn't like saying he was a five bar friend. And you said it out your mouth too. And he said it too. So obviously he was embarrassed by you and it wasn't what he thought. You know what I'm saying? So it's all added up. So I don't know, girl. I just want to see what the girlfriend gonna do. She said she was from I this. hate mildew. Oh. Somebody get a divorce paper and all that stuff. Mildew, girl. and when you cook fried chicken and you think you about to walk your happy ass out that house with, with what you just cooked in, yeah, you might want to turn around. Or even if your clothes like on the couch, you got to air dry, and your clothes right there by that fried chicken, you better turn your ass around. You doing all that? Because it, it turns into smelling like fish. Follow yeah. through with it, baby. But if you stay, child, please, that man gonna do it again and again and again and again. <laughs> so he <laughs> blue though, and he publicly apologizes to his wife. Because I just think like sometimes the men. I would like to publicly apologize to my wife. I would never get on the internet bash you, no matter what you say out of her. You're such a good woman, solid, rare, and I love and appreciate you. It's a lot that this industry brings. It's a fast life, and sometimes as men, we fall short. And then fall short, like, you invited a whole woman out to a whole nother state that you had to be responsible for. Who the fuck wants to do that? I know men. Why? <laughs> Who... I got to fly this woman out here. Then I got to make sure she fed. She got to be around me. She got to be around my entourage. I got to make sure I hire her. She got to dress like a tomboy in order for me to do. Who feel like doing all that? That's a hell of a responsibility that ain't worth it. I would have rather you smash the stripper than do some shit like that. Anything. And not just a stripper. I'm saying anybody in the, you know what I'm saying? But some women, especially when they in that industry, they going to sell some coochie. So not all of them, but some. So if so, Go get one of them. Women are faithful because it's easy. Oh, girl. It's, it's not easy. Men can have everything they want in a woman at home, and they'll still go looking for more. Yeah. And if you read what he wrote, her, he was just apologizing, and, he, and he'll never do it again, and oh, God, the, the music industry, the life just comes so fast, and uh, but boy, shut the fuck up. I'm giving everything else to God. Girl, he put a lowercase g, he lying. He gonna do it again. And when I always go run to God, <laughs> When when they done fucked up, excuse me, Jesus, putting that in you with the same thing. He they want to go run to God when they done messed up. You should have ran to God when you was almost about to get tempted. God, please Thank you, Smart. out of this. Stop me right now. I, I just went and looked at the baby friend. He's so cute. In the midst of it all. I was here making this, my thumbnail right now. She's rare. She's a good woman. She's Where was all this then? Did you not know you had a good woman when you was book, booking the plane ticket? Did you not know you had a rare good woman who's all this when you tell, when you got the girl off the plane? When you was texting the girl before you even blew the plane ticket? Where was all that then? You should have talked to me. Y'all men just be me. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this. Okay? Next to the ducket, we got Eric versus Spice. Now, baby, this was a whole Ooh, lot of whole lot, whole right lot here is a going on. You lucky? You okay. We got the monkey part. All right. And Erica gives me very much colorist racism, whatever. Because Erica has a track record of saying certain things like this and calling people monkeys and shit. I cannot believe the amount of black women that I have seen come on Beyonce internet defending this okay. lady for calling Spice a blue monkey. Like, it's one thing to say a racial slur and then not know what you're saying, but... Erica knows exactly what she's saying. Like, she's literally a repeat offender. So that leads me to believe that she knows exactly what she's doing. Like, if someone has to do an article about you and have a whole section about your past racist behavior, something is wrong. This article is from Support Online Hip Hop, and it details her very extensive history of being racist. Let's start with this tweet right here going all the way back to 2014 where she's talking about the comedian tony rock and she says hashtag this monkey is a fool then you got this tweet also from 2014 where she asked lil duval and she says uh man i already know it's gonna be so much fun when i slap the blood out your little monkey ass mm. what she even came for johnny blade what
monkeys like saying still monkey mad and then somebody even agreed with her saying erica mena is right she does look like a monkey laughing my butt off like 1-800 animal control y'all are out of control like the side by side is crazy and all this erica is feeding into it calling johnny blaze a monkey saying that she looks like a monkey then in 2015 erica had gotten into it with a club promoter in cleveland and damn her sis know all this info <laughs> she was seen saying i don't like working with these black monkeys i don't usually do business with these black monkeys like, mind you, all this is on video, too. If you look up the video now, it'll say video unavailable because I guess whoever recorded it and posted it had deleted it. But if you look up articles about this incident, it'll have the video underneath, but it'll just say video unavailable because they deleted it. But this very much happened, okay? Then you have this video. What in the hell? Posted by, just in case you missed it, on YouTube of Erica calling children nappy headed children mind you again this is not a black woman okay i can keep going with all the racial stuff that this woman has said so i'm about to play the video next yo stop asking me about my kid i don't be asking y'all about y'all fucking little nappy headed children Ooh. and for all the people saying oh Gee, i didn't mess. think that this was that bad i didn't know monkey was a slur y'all had an issue with this y'all also had an issue with this and y'all had an issue with this. But y'all didn't know that this... You monkey! You blue monkey! Was an issue. Like, yes, Spice brought up her children. But Erica is a repeat offender when it comes to calling black women and black people in general racial slurs. Using specifically the term monkey. Calling children nappy-headed stuff like this like even if she's not a racist she is a colorist at the very least like i'm glad she got fired she needed to be fired and mona you get no cool points for firing erica because at the end of the day love and hip-hop is a bigger issue within the black community that is a whole separate video and topic in itself That's the whole fact. show the whole franchise needs to be canceled Period. Now, I will say this. Spice did not talk about her child. She talked about her parenting Ye of her child. Yes, she did. Now, any, either way, whatever case may be, you when a person hears their kid name or kid, parent, whatever, they gonna go crazy. So then Lyrica came out and she said what she said. But you say something to me, um, and you mention my son and say he doesn't like me i mean it's not my business but i saw somebody say in the comments then i might be like offended and i might you know i don't know what i'm gonna say i'm sorry i just don't it's like rules to arguing now like you better not say somebody's a gay you can't say he's a beep or a that or if it's a trans or it's a this or you better not say this about skin or you better not say like it's like so somebody says something about your kid but then what if you don't have the same like what if you can't say back to them that's why your kid this this and that because it's not the same uh like you don't have the same problem you know what i'm trying to say it's like you gotta like figure out what's the right way to argue like are you let's be real y'all we're human like are you really thinking about how to argue with somebody when you mad nah but i'm not saying monkey though I don't wish, like, I don't wish nobody life to be, I don't wish nobody to be fired, locked up, in jail, like, hurt, dead, none of that. So I can't say I wish that on them, but I'll tell you like this, like, it's wrong. Erica Mena was wrong. Erica Mena was wrong. And whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever they got for, you know. Y'all, are y'all attracted to Lil Scrappy? You know, you got to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Because colorism is real. We do know that. Racism is real. We do know that. You know what I'm saying? Hate is real. We do know that. I got a song called The Hate is Real. I'm telling you. We know that.
everybody's mm. just all over the place. Everybody's pressing. They got a lot to say. And I'm just like, okay, okay. look. One at person this point, thank you. Oh, two people. We need to wrap this up. So now, the rest of this y'all. happened. Now, after I see that, I'm just like, okay, first of all, Erica and Bambi are friends. So why the fuck would you ask her a question, then get mad when she answered the question, knowing that's a friend? I'm going to take up for my friend, too. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? So then, it, at this point, I guess he was. Spice, I'm too trying much, to be saying? with you, girl. I'm trying, but you make it hard, sweetie. And it's starting to look like you might be the problem. And then what you got mad at somebody doing to you, you turn around and do it to somebody else. You call her a long neck giraffe. So it's like, okay, wait a minute. All right, well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Okay. Next to the docket, we got like and Keisha and Kobeko versus his baby mom. Now, this is crazy. Oh, no, I didn't see this coming, but baby, it came and it came like a thief in the night. Keisha and Coco, they came, a Coca. <laughs> they came out and announced her pregnancy. Mind you, mama looked good. So, child, after she came out with her announcement, Sorry, this when the baby really mama don't. came out and said, well, she had to say, she done called this no man out for being a deadbeat daddy and all of this and everything else. And he not in the child life and just so much. And I'm just like, it's all in there. I ain't gonna read it. I still ain't read it. <laughs> and I ain't gonna read it. Now, she said a whole lot, a whole lot. But the only thing that stood out to me and made me go, God dang! She said Keisha used to hang out with them when she was dating him and Keisha was fucking on the product! But Keisha said that he don't have a brother. Got it! That didn't! We heard it. She, he don't have a brother. That he got is, two sisters. Oh my god! I fuck with Keisha. I love me some Keisha, but Keisha that took me for a blow. The word on the curb because everybody's saying, "Why come out now? Why I you saying it now? Why did you wait until the end?" And I kind of agree. Like out. you know what I'm saying? If he's been a bad father, you should have been saying it. But it's been some whispers that she has been saying this type of stuff on her Instagram story. Um. It's just nobody has been paying it attention. His friend. But now his friend that Keisha is pregnant and she said it, I guess people done sent what she's been saying on her story now to the shade room. And it seems like now she's just this bitter baby mama when really she's already been calling this man out. That's the word I got. So child, that didn't sit right with Keisha. And Keisha came out, honey, and this is what she had to say. We need to stop lying. People need to grow up and people need to stop lying. And that's just that on that. People need to grow up and people just need to start being a woman. Okay. Be a grown woman. I did a video on this. Be a grown woman. Be a grown woman about yours. Because that's that on that. I'm not a felon. I've got a clean record. I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm not driving my. <laughs> listen. I can. Listen. I can do like. That's what I'm saying. Y'all don't know what's going on. So at the end of the day. That's just what that now. is. We're happy. We happy. Is the taco good? Good. I already seen. Did you have a sock on there? I ain't gonna lie. Now, if you ask me, I already seen him. I, got I a whole feel video Keisha should have said anything. This I is guess between I them two. Out, I know you are the mother of his new child and you're his new girlfriend, whatever case it be. But baby, you're not you're not married yet. You know what I'm saying? This man ain't gave you no ring. If this man did this over here, he could do it over here. Summer Walker, we've seen it. Other women, Ryan, we've seen it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that was them. When a baby mama and a baby daddy go through their stuff, you can't tell this woman how she feels and what she's going through and if he's a good parent or not. You know what I'm saying? That's how she feels. So, child, after she said all that, honey, Cole Cobain still ain't came out. He ain't said nothing. You got me fucked up. If my man ain't said shit, I'm not saying a Cole motherfucking Cobain had said something. He ain't said nothing. She, she he, talked about him. She called him a good bitch. Him ain't no good. Him a clown. So then Coco Bango come out, he posts up text messages saying, oh, you want to call me a deadbeat, but look, but look, but look. Niggas, you basically just confirm what she said. You ain't talking to your daughter since March. First of all, for you people who talking about, <laughs> I don't even know how to say that oh, she word. didn't address you, she didn't address Tranquilist you. Tranquilist vibes, what that mean? She didn't address me in that post, correct? She didn't address me in that post. In that specific post, she didn't address me. Oh, but baby. Keisha can His speak. mother, his sister. Gets calls about me. Maybe every other month. Maybe once a month. 
Anything that's concerning Skip, us. Skip, y'all want me to want to They get calls about me. I don't address her. She hasn't addressed me. She talks about me, though. She oh, mentions me. Over, huh? So when I mention, I'm going to mention you. And that's just that on that. Oh, okay. I don't even... That's oh. Uh, 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 the mama, the sisters, whoop, 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 none of that. Stop all the lies. She said all you do is lie. Just be bummed with everything Keisha was saying about, you know, the child not living with her, saying the child does live with her, and why she took the child off of child support, because Coco Bangle was saying, hey, I will pay, or whatever the case may be. And then I, once she took him off, he didn't want to pay. And it was just, it's a lie. She said she was going to um, turn some shit up when she got off of work. But girl, I ain't seen nothing happen when she got off of work. So, it is what it is, girl. It's just a mess. Everybody's just a mess. Ooh, it's just Everybody's a mess. messy right mess now. And streets. I'm loving it. If it ain't about me, me, let's keep keeping it. Okay? Next one, okay? We got T versus Hitman. Now, I don't know what's in the water and what is going on, but baby, y'all is outside and y'all is being messy. My face. And y'all, I need y'all to back me because she really sits and does her job. I, I sit and eat my food around this. I don't bother this. So if I ever have to say something, it's valid and, and, and it means something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just understand, hit maker, okay. you foul. And if you if you think to, One, to, two, three, to put the video out of me in the oh, car, Oh, okay. I was just like, oh, girl, something ain't right. Because Tim don't ever get on live. She don't ever speak. She ain't never no drama, nothing. Mama just make her music and keep it pushing. But baby Masika and Hazel tried to tell the girls that this man ain't manning. And he been fouled. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie, sometimes you gotta go Deja, all things. We already reacted to this. That's why everybody telling me to skip. They don't want to see it again. Then situation. Now, after she do that, <laughs> young bird, <laughs> hit make a whatever, he come out and he say this. I'm going to still stand on you. Oh, hey, I hate Not this part. Oh. People ain't even like that important. He was so me. drunk. He, I don't he, even know what. Well, I ain't see it. About. Friend, you got to go watch I'm it. <laughs> you, whole, right. That's why you got to be here every day. That's why you're supposed to follow me on Twitch. Now. Restaurant. It's my birthday. I don't want to see that. I ain't even going to get into details. I'm just going to call my lawyer because I was violated. Damn. Put hands on me. I got video. Put hands on me. It's sad, bro. We don't want to with a like. Are we like in between the paper towels? I even trying to talk down, but you know, I got mad love. It was a bad move that was made by her. And, um, he was drunk. He was giving some good baby. old tequila. I was at work, me bartending. He gave me a job. I can't come like, when I'm at work. No, you can't, like, friend. I, I understand. I was just letting you know you the people that been here, they don't want to see it again. They don't. Um, I don't either. <laughs> but I love okay. you, friend. Ain't no harm. It's my birthday, right? Today is my birthday. I ain't do nothing to that person. <laughs> We already seen this. We don't necessarily. Okay. Irrelevant. <laughs> I ain't even know. Bird on the curb. When men talk this slow, oh, try their line. Double E shit they saying. <laughs> so then after that, he comes back again and he explains the altercation. He definitely and this stop is what he said. Y'all gotta stop. Artists. Stop painting no narrative. I hate the way his lips look when he talk. Well, I'm gonna let stop doing that or whatever on the internet. Ultimately, A. Um, I never, me, me and Tink, like, that's, me and Trinity, like, to be honest with you, I love Trinity. We love each other. We're going through a breakup. You're, you, you guys are allowing this girl to go say something, like, she never did nothing to her in any of that whole situation. So let's be clear. I'm in, I'm in Cancun. I didn't talk to her. Nothing. She posted whatever, happy birthday. I said, thank you very much. Never told her where I was at. We just, the way God had worked, coincidentally, we happened to be in the same place. Like, so we're at the same restaurant. I go sit down. I'm eating. She's sitting at the table next to me. Coincidentally, in Cancun, at the same restaurant, 
on your birthday. With three other women. Yeah, he, was, he was with three other women. That's what that is. So from there, we're eating. That's why I say he got little I didn't even know that she was in the spot until I guess a song played and she hands. went and like you stood up on the table. Hip -hop. At the so mm -hmm. I seen her. For real. Out of respect, I got up, mm -hmm. I ate my food, and I went to the club next door. And I went to the club next door. I went to the club next door. <laughs> to the club next door. I went to the club next door. Baby, you're bumbling. So <laughs> as I'm walking out of the place or whatever, <clears throat> I'm getting in my car, and they're like, Young Bird, Young Bird. Now, mind you, she playing on me because y'all know I'm on my hit maker. Right, so her and her friends are saying like, "Yo, young bird, young bird," because I'm with a bunch of girls or whatever, and we're not dating, we're not in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like we we healing, we moving forward now. Ultimately, we have a, um make it seem like she a business relationship. Him. You know, so we work. We have no, a bunch of songs. We work. It sound like she was fanning over him because she said that she spoke to him, and he didn't want to speak back. It was like she was trying to force him to speak back. I don't understand. Now, you know what's crazy, Ryan? He ain't the only person, or that ain't the only person. It's like everybody that come in that's trying to spam or they fake, they keep saying the same thing. So it's not even funny anymore. The first time I seen it was funny, but it's been about five people that have said that same shit. Working on an album right now. So... I'm walking First out and they're like, hell, young bro. bird, young bird, young bird, young bird. <laughs> and um, I went and proceeded and get in my car. I got in my car and um, long story short, she opened the car and put her yeah, hands on me. Now, I, I respect that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, from a, from a, a woman thing. that's upset or whatever, you see a, your, your ex-man out or you see a man out that you really care about and you went about that. Now, ultimately, look, this why I'm just saying it. I don't like how y'all... Like, how did he beat Masika? Like, what do you mean, beat Masika? Like, like beat, beat? Trying to, like, change the narrative. Like, she went and said some sh and said it was a physical altercation because she know I got the footage of her putting her hands on me and um doing whatever I thought that he was happened last too. night. So, at the end of the day, he head like, butt. my whole thing is Ooh. to be like, look, in reality, a headbutt is crazy. This ain't happened. Like this. She didn't. Mm. Nothing happened between her. She lost her her cool in the situation. Nah, that's and crazy. we still mad cool. So back to Berg, hitmaker. Um, we've been and dating for a long whoop time. His ass. Very long time. Or whooped his ass. I've been silent about a lot of the things that I go through behind the scenes. I've been silent about our relationship. I've been silent about us. Fucking. I've been silent about the deals, the money, literally almost everything you can imagine. I should pee. In this situation, it's a buildup of things. It's number one, him asking me for money. He beat Hazel and number the other one, girl. That's what I thought. Number okay, so he's a womanizer and some more shit. Now, we already seen this too, y'all. Mm -mm. Tink basically was letting everybody know what she been with him, and she wasn't about to let him play her, and he mad at her because she didn't give him $2 million. That's, that was the whole point. What went on? But again, it's a, it's a, it's a accumulation. I feel they were more than business partners. As we all know, we ain't dumb, we ain't stupid. She sees you at a table with a bunch of women. Like she said, she texted him over and over. It was texting him. He ignored her. Oh, bitch, yeah, I'm finna get mad. None of all, you acting up. I'm telling you, you look nice, you look good. Whatever you with women, ignore me. Then you get the fuck up and go out. Oh, yeah, I got some shit to say to you. And I stood up on the thing. I know you seen me. You go outside. I'm addressing it. With she you. was like, sweating. Up. And now me and my nah. bitches are about to be petty. Yo, I don't, don't agree with that. What's that? I don't like, agree with oh, that. Now we finna act up. You wanna, you wanna ignore me? We finna act up, nigga. Let's get it. And then, yeah, boom. They got an altercation. It was a little bit of jealousy. A little bit of, you know, they breaking up, not talking. That's what couples do. Let's wrap this up. Okay, because girl, she has been going through it. Just ask, he was asking for two million for something with dealing with the music. It's almost like he was asking for more than what he was supposed to get. I was like a teeny bopper. I just want somebody, body. Oh, that's her song. Treat me like somebody, body. Who's gonna love me for me, baby? 
Oh, uh-huh, she been going through it. I don't right. know, but you wrong for hitting a bad right. friend. He didn't hit you. You just was mad and in your feelings, I, friend. That's what she I just had out of all Tink these. Tink was years. like, y'all basically calling that people was calling her broke. Tink said that she's a multimillionaire. Um, she said you may not know who I am, but you gonna find out. She said she got hits on deck. She was saying all this. She must be a music writer too, huh? This just woman making all this good music, and this is the time she gets highlighted. And that just that makes me mad. But Bonnie and Clyde, and which, which one? Let's get keeping. She writes music for people too. All right, you guys. That's all I have for Missy Monday. I know. Ooh, y'all, we gonna go ahead and end this because Jesus told y'all this this damn video was an hour and fifteen minutes, but we have somehow made it an hour and sixteen minutes. All right. We done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah.